Okay. Hey, ladies. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey. hey. And gentlemen. And Thank gentlemen. You. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. He like, you don't gotta say hey. You can just say good morning. <laughs> good morning. We good. Oh my goodness. I am so excited to be with you all today. This is episode 22. Very special episode. Our siblings episode. Yay! Yay. So my There's sister's not here. House. Shout out to my sister Sherry. She hey, shout Sherry. out. Have a fun. And all the good things. And we have Sabrina, who is Shauna's sister, and Hello. David, who is Hola. Hi. Welcome to the Heart of Chat podcast. Now, for our listeners, this is going to be a super fun episode, very laid back engage, grab your sibling, your cousins, whomever, and start, get to listening. Because we're going to have some like fun your today. Sister, your brother, you exactly, know. exactly. We're going to have some fun today, but we want to first allow Sabrina and David to introduce themselves. Sabrina, do you want to go first? You want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Yeah. I am um, Sabrina L. Uh, Sueño Arts. Dot five. Uh, I sell antiques. Um, I have a full-time position also for the county. Uh, my sister is Shauna E. Nanny Link, and she's part of the Heart of Chat, which I'm so proud of, and I'm so proud to be here this morning and be a part of this. I am just excited. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, we, got, we got a lot of fiery energy today. We got yes, some yes, Fuego, yes. baby. Fuego. <laughs> Fuego, baby. Woo-woo. David, you want to introduce yourself? My name is David L. Burrell. Uh, I'm from Philadelphia. My sister is Jeanette. Um, I work in the asset protection protection field, um, and I've been in Philadelphia on and off all my life. I'm an ex-military guy, and I'm happy to be here. Yay! Yay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, David. Nice to meet you. Yes. All right. So let's kick off the fun. I I always like to do this. Describe each other in one word. So any of you who want to jump in, I'm so glad we can all see each other. And just a quick note for our listeners, you can also catch this you, this video on YouTube. So you can see us in action, all our crazy eye banter at each other and us pointing at the screen and all the fun things. So describe your describe each other in one word. Who's describe first? Describe our siblings? Yeah. So you can describe <laughs> each other. That, that'd be more than fun. <laughs> one word. Like David's going first. All right. Um, I would say organized. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Nice. That is for sure. That kept me together around. a lot of times. Kept me together. Mm, wow. <laughs> I need that. So for David, I would say he is um, protector. Protector. Like it. Very nice. Nice. Very nice. 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 Shauna, yeah. what about you? Describe Sabrina in one word. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina. Look at them. They already starting. I know. <laughs> I would say artist. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Sabrina. Brilliant. Oh. Since birth. Oh. Since birth. Brilliant. I, love it. I ain't gonna say nothing bad about you on this show, girl. <laughs> right? Brilliant. I mean, I love it. I love it. Strong. From the time I can remember from kindergarten, she has been brilliant at everything you. she's done. Yes. You. You're welcome. Awesome, awesome. And just a quick note, I love your jackets too, ladies. Those are really, really cute. Y'all can see this video. They are matching. Got the coordinate. I didn't even know I was going to be matching. Yeah. I'm right. to I know you on point. And David's <laughs> route is matching. Hey, yeah. 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 This is, is colorful. I know, I, I like that. Colors. I got that. Jeanette, we got, yeah. you got your pillows. Got your pillows. Yeah. Everybody's hot today. Yes, That's yes. right, D. We got, we got the locks going. The locks are right. beautiful. 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 Love love them. Very love healthy. It. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Love it. Love it. All right. So what is your favorite memory the two of you have? So I think one of the things when Shauna was talking about this episode was something about a pear tree and a cherry tree between <laughs> um, <laughs> Sabrina and Shauna. So what I'm like, what am I reading here? Okay. <laughs> so when we were kids, we lived on Meyer Avenue, which is uh, the inner city of uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And we were fortunate to grow up uh, in the city with uh, fruit trees in the backyards. We had a giant cherry tree and we had a, a, a huge pear tree. So because I love pears, I would always climb the pear tree, sit in the tree for hours and just eat the pears. 
I wouldn't even eat the ones on the ground. I just, we had to climb these trees and Shauna would always climb the cherry tree, which I never knew how she got up there, but we used to call her daddy long legs because she always had longer legs than any of the cousins. And she would climb the tree and we would sit there for hours until our grandmother, Maria Ortiz would come down at, what are you doing? You know, she'd be screaming in Spanish. We're like, what is this woman talking about? You know, and uh, we'd finally come down for supper or dinner or whatever she had snacks for us. But amazing to be able to have um, that experience with fruit trees because a lot of the inner cities don't have fruit trees anymore. So we were able to grow up with trees in the inner city of Cleveland, Ohio. And it is just awesome memory. And what I loved about the memory was Sabrina would be drawing in the pear tree and I would be writing <laughs> in the cherry tree. So we always took our books and notebook pads. It was sort of like a clubhouse, you know, yes. and mm-hmm. it was a place of solace. And we both got to experience the peacefulness of it together. Nature. That's yeah, amazing. nature. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And speaking of t- trees and fruit trees in the inner city, we lived in East Orange, New Jersey. We had a pear tree in our front yard. Like, nice. We lived, um, well, off, uh, if you're familiar with the Jersey area, like Halst- Halstead and Prospect Avenue was like less than a mile from where we lived. And we had this cherry tree and the kids, my dad used to always say, the bad kids may not climb the, our fence and get them pears. And they did. And, and my sister, you know, she'd be outside and, and she'd be throwing the pears at the <laughs> Sherry doing that. <laughs> That's my girl. She, so yeah, those kids were crying. I was like, a pear tree in the inner city. How cool is that? So yes, I always think yeah. about it. But I saw this. It, it really piqued my interest here. David, what's a memory that you have, uh, your favorite memory with Jeanette? Uh, well, this is like kind of a funny one because oh, I have a lot I have of memories. No idea what he's going to say, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> got that, Jeanette. Good one. Uh, I, have a, I have a, so many memories with her, but one that, that sticks out to me as funny as when me and her were growing up, and I think I was about in the fourth or fifth grade, and we were on our way coming home from school. We had to walk like two or three blocks to get home. It was, you know, it was very close. And we turn around, we see this guy that's coming towards. He has a limp. He looked crazy and everything, right? So <laughs> we just happened to turn around and see him coming towards us. And I told, I grabbed her. I said, let's go. We take off to our uh-huh. And it's like a, a bus station, a depot right there. So, you know, once we get to the, the bus station, we see a, a, a separate police officer and we like tell him like, yo, this guy's chasing us. <laughs> and the guy comes, he's literally still running towards us. He oh, just no. jumped on the bus. Oh no. <laughs> he wasn't even the jumped on the bus. What? And the guy was like, he was like uh, mentally, you know, Oh and, wow! And I remember that too. Oh and are you made a police officer looking at us? It's like, like almost like he was trying to hold back his laugh, like laughing because it's like no, it's <laughs> <not> <laughs> that is hilarious. Bus. He was yeah, that was. Oh. Oh, so oh, you, oh, you, oh, you oh, really oh, been a protector since you were younger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gosh, that was a fourth grade. Yeah, wow, yeah. first grade. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I might. Yeah, I think no. If you were fourth. I was probably like second grade. Yeah, we were yep. kids. Y'all know, growing up in the city. Oh yeah, we were too. Oh yeah. Yeah. But our, our apartment was right across the street from like the end of the bus line, so it was like and a the subway station terminal. Okay. Oh okay. yeah. It was the last. It was the last stop to the subway station. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, like, people would park and ride, like so they would come in yeah. and park, and then they would take that all the way in downtown. But yeah, I remember that too. <laughs> <laughs> we, was running, we was we was running we was out of breath we was just little big ba- little babies little kids yeah. oh my, wow. <laughs> he was running for the bus he was like not thinking about that. it at all <laughs> i love that wow. <laughs> what a great memory <laughs> that's a good memory yeah <laughs> yes so jeanette how does it feel to be the younger sibling because i believe you're the youngest that's for you and david <laughs> yes i am <laughs> Did you ever want to be the oldest? Did you ever want to step in and be that older? Or you're like, how does it, how does it feel? No, I never, no, I don't think I ever wanted to be the oldest. Uh-huh. I think I had like little big sister tendencies sometimes. Like I would be trying, I would try to protect him or do his chores for him. Like, mm-hmm. so we had very set chores. Like my dad was like, you got a whole week of dishes. Dave had a whole week of mm-hmm. the living room and the dining room. But it was funny because he hardly ever did his dishes on his week to do dishes. I was still good to him, even though, you know. Sometimes. She she was definitely a person who, who we kind of bounced off each other as far as playing the, the, the older sibling role. Mm-hmm. Probably her more times than, than me because I was very immature a lot of the times. 
<laughs> and she wasn't. So, I mean, even to this day, she's she's kind of like, she's like that person who I kind of look up to. So yeah. it's been- Aww. That's sweet. That is sweet. beautiful. That's, that's cool. Yeah, nice. yeah I can't yeah. tell you how many times we say that. Um, to Shauna and I, we're like the, we're- <laughs> We're the older ones, like Jeanette is keeping us grounded. Where me and Sean are like all over Jeanette the place. Jeanette keeps us together. Our chat. Oh, like wonderful. on our live, a few episodes ago on our on our live, I think it was episode seventeen. Jeanette is trying to keep us in line. She said, "What's the giveaway, Linda?" I'm like, "Huh? What are you talking about?" <laughs> we're <laughs> just all Sean over the place. She's she always like, reeling you. us in. You know, that's good. Fine. Yeah, that's her. That's her. That's her. <laughs> yes. And, there's so like a 10 like, year age gap between the, the youngest, it's Jeanette yeah, and then Shauna. Yeah, Jeanette and I are 10 years and five. She's like I'm totally surprised. organized and everything she yeah. That's wonderful, yeah. Jeanette. I need some help organizing my antiques. <laughs> Ew, my house is in a disarray uh, right oh, now. I'm from Cleveland. I'm going to stay some extra days. I'll come Please. Up. You are more than <laughs> welcome to come by. Stop by DC on your way. Because <laughs> <yeah. laughs> I think a little dirty. my thing, though. Growing up, organizing, changing my room yeah. around, all that, all that kind yeah, of that's stuff. That's Shauna. Shauna loves it. And put mm -hmm. me and David CDs in um, alphabetical order in our little book. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Wow. 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 So what about you, uh, Sabrina? So you're you're the youngest, but you guys I have am. a nice little uh, kind of clue here about you all being the same age for what yes. 17 days? 17 yes, days. We're, yes. we're the same yeah. age right now as we speak. I just had a birthday November 5th. And, uh, but being the youngest, I enjoy being the youngest. I'm spoiled. Um, Shauna was there for me. She carried me along the way. I was a crybaby. And I was also afraid of the dark all the time. And as, as kids, I would sleep with a jump rope and I would make Shauna hold the other end because they finally took down our bump beds. And I'm like, what am I going to do without Shauna? Cause I was scared of the dark. So we would have this jump rope and I would pull at it all. Shauna, Shauna, you sleep? Waking me up. And she's like, be quiet, I'm asleep. Y'all know Shana, how I Shana. value my sleep. Oh, and Shauna, Shauna, I'm scared. She's like, be quiet, be quiet, you know. And one morning we wake up and my grandmother cut the jump rope in half. So we were- we woke up with one half the jump rope. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, that's dumb. She broke the bond. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know why- Abuela I was like, enough of the shenanigans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I don't know why. <laughs> Um, we didn't have like night lights back then. I don't know. I don't later know on we it. did, but in yeah. the earlier years we didn't. So mm -hmm. I really, really enjoy being the youngest. I'm I'm a brat. I'm spoiled. Um, Shauna spoils me a ton. My daughters, my everyone does, and I just like it. And sometimes they kind of carry me along, and I kind of like that. You know, I need some help with this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I need some help with that. So I feel like a princess sometimes. So it's great being the youngest youngest That's daughter. Good. That's really good. Because sometimes it sucks being the oldest. Yes, it does. I, yes, it does. I can <laughs> a lot do of it. work. Yes. A I lot of responsibility. I might have been the one like that keep Dave organized, but when it came to like anything like responsibility wise, as far as like out like us playing outside and like him watching out for me, like he definitely was on that. Like he might have been like in the house, like he didn't want to clean up, but outside, if something went down, he was always, yeah. Wow, I awesome. might have been a little too, a little too much on that side of it. But <laughs> oh, because <laughs> like she used to. I remember one time she, um, she said, "I'm never talking to you again. Like I'm, I'm not speaking to you ever again in life." But you know, that's how protective I was for her, with you know, with friends or, or with mm -hmm. boyfriends or stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, hands on. Yeah, so I know, look, that made me think of another story. <laughs> Bring it out. I want all the dibs. Mm -hmm. We was little, Dave, when we lived in the yeah, apartment. True. So I would call my mom. My mom had like an 800 number you could call her at work. So I would call my <laughs> That's mom cool. Every time he did something, I'd tell on him. And then one day, because he was taller than me, of course, he, he blocked the phone, told me I couldn't use the phone. So I got my little piece of paper. And my little second grade hair, like, that's, that's okay. I'm going to keep a list of everything you do to me today. Yeah. <laughs> she wrote everything down. Oh, that's some serious organization yeah. snitching. Yeah. <laughs> she had a notebook for the I'm snitches. Part like, of the yeah, journal. Okay. <laughs> right. she, pretend, nice. she pretended like she cared about my list, but she was just like, <laughs> <laughs> order in the court order, order in the court right. no, there you go mm -hmm. funny. Oh, I hilarious love i love that shauna did you mm -hmm. like being the oldest i love this story that sabrina also um, shared and also david as well so what did you what did you like being the oldest 
I, I like being the oldest. I like being in charge. Um, I think innately it's just part of my DNA. I don't think it really has a lot to do with having a sibling under me. I think, um, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know if I was created that way. I feel like I was. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's not fun because it was a lot of responsibilities, you know, growing up, being the oldest, caring for someone else while you're still trying to understand who you are, you know, as mm -hmm. you're growing. Mm -hmm. That part sometimes wasn't good, but it was always good to have a playmate, somebody to bounce ideas off of with. And because we're so close in age, we're 11 months and 17 days apart. So we are currently, we're Irish twins. So we're both 50 right now, 50 years years old so <laughs> both, every every year on november 5th we turn the same we're the same age so on the 22nd um i'll turn 51 so this was we like these big monumental years like when yes. we turned 21 we had a bash together when we turned 25 together we was partying together so all those big years 30 you know so that's it's a lot awesome. of fun thanks awesome. thanks Thank we you, really baby. really love it so i feel like in a sense yes. yes i'm older but in a sense sometimes i get to feel like a twin sometimes yeah, yeah. at least this mm -hmm. time of year Yes. November Ooh, is the that. best month. I just want y'all. It is. November is the yeah. best month. <laughs> I'm November 27th, Sabrina. Yep. 27, Jeanette? Yep. Mm. yep. She sometimes Woo! gets Thanksgiving like I sometimes get yes. Thanksgiving. Oh, that is awesome. Yep. I, sweet November. It Number is. 11. I wear an 11 a lot uh, to represent yeah. me and Shauna. And uh, my brother-in-law Lorenzo, because he was the four one one, he was uh, number eleven also. Yeah, my yeah. late husband's okay. birthday was for was on April eleventh, oh, and it yeah. was the one thing that he and I enjoyed was sharing eleven because I had the eleventh month, he had the eleventh yes. day, mm -hmm. and so uh, which hence is part of when the love story comes out, ladies is, and gentlemen. It's uh, yes. only eleven chapters in the book that I wrote yes. about us. Yes, but yeah, but we all three kind of felt that trio and 11 then, you know mm -hmm. Lorenzo knew when he met Sabrina uh mm -hmm. 25 years ago that he had to take her for the ride he did he because it's, it's this you know package deal it's a package deal with, <laughs> <laughs> with the siblings yes and he was a great brother-in-law to my he sister was. And, yeah, oh he yes was an amazing he was. person loved him that's so cool David when is your birthday March 16th March 16th okay okay, okay. 1977 Okay. Seven, oh, seven. Seven. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yes. My sister is a Pisces. She's March 5th. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go Sherry. Five is my number. Yeah. Go Sherry. Yeah. March 5th. Mm -hmm. I'm January 2nd. Almost. Yeah. Okay. New Day Year's. Time so, to party. Yes. 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 You understand my pain okay. being raised with a Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, <look. laughs> my mother was a Pisces. Yeah. Oh. My mother is a Pisces. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, duality at the house. There you go. There you wow. go. <laughs> All right. Um, so who was the most adventurous between Shauna, you, and Sabrina? I think I might know this. One. I am. <laughs> I do it. I yeah, am. I, was I would always that. say, Shauna, I have a big idea. And she would be worried. We'll She'd be worried. Get us in trouble. <laughs> And I went along with it with my silly self every time I'm like, what is it? She gave me the idea. She convinces me to do it. I know that we're going to get in trouble. And we always and do it anyway. And then she'll come back and she'll do it again weeks later. And I fall for but, the banana in the tailpipe. But I, I was interested. I had some great ideas. I had business. We had business ideas, you know, painted yeah. rocks that we sold. And yep. we did fake, fake nails out of Elmer's fake. glue yep. and lemonade. Yep. Our grandmother and allowed we, us to sell on a main street of Clark Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio, right in right across the street from the old pick and pay. It was a grocery store. And we would sit outside and people would actually come by. We had the first nail uh, polish resale rock. shop, right, Sabrina? We had the first resale yes. shop. We had a box. We tied a string around ourselves and we walked mm -hmm. around and sold all our old toys. Wow. Destined okay. to be business people. Destined to be yep. business Because we people. just love that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. which, which if I may lead into uh, our story growing up. So one of the stories growing up, um, Sabrina and I was very daring with fashion. We have, we have family from Nueva York, New Jersey, Miami, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, 
all mm -hmm. these flavors, Bariqua. you know, we grew up with. Bariqua, yeah, Bariqua. Yes. We grew up with all these flavors and being in Cleveland, sometimes um, back when we were growing mm -hmm. up, you were kind of in these different classifications and stuff when it came to fashion. Mm -hmm. But Sabrina and I was like, no, 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 this is how mm -hmm. they doing it in Nueva York. You know, they wear, mm -hmm. they wear tiger prints on their stretch pants before it, you know, became really mainstream. Mm -hmm. So we came up with a sto storyline, with a book that I created based loosely based on our childhood. The story is called My Mismatched Socks. It just got printed this week. Congratulations. Yes. That's, Congratulations. That's me and that's Sabrina. So. Thank you. We are the characters in the book. So it just speaks to embracing your unique mm -hmm. selves, no matter what in this world. So My Mismatched Socks. Mm -hmm. We'll and be we coming out soon. We always wore mismatched socks in uh, yep. junior high school and high got school. Got made fun of fashion. too. We got made fun of. Because we they weren't it. ready for it. They weren't ready no, for it. But yeah. now, you know what? Now we empowered cool. the world because yes. everybody wearing Miss Yes, yes. Okay, You can buy them in a bundle where none of the socks in the pack matches. Right. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Congratulations, Shauna. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And, and Linda Freedom. Mallory, congratulations for oh. you helping congratulations. me. Congratulations. Publishing this book through your company. So you. you have a book in you, ladies and gentlemen, Linda Mallory is your gay. I'll be calling you. <laughs> Thank you, please. I welcome it. I welcome it. I'm so, call him out, but he's been uh, talking about writing a book forever. So you need to get with Linda because she- Oh, yes. I, oh, I'm David. Just, I'm taking notes. I'm paying attention. Yes, yes David, <laughs> yes. We'll be waiting on it. Yes, for sure. So David, would you say you were the most adventurous between you and Jeanette or would you think it's vice versa? Either I, would, I would say that I probably was more adventurous just because I, I did a lot of stuff uh, early in my life. Like I've, I've been to different countries early before I was 24, mm -hmm. 25. Oh, and I did a lot of like just every aspect of life. I probably experienced a little bit more than her mm -hmm. early. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say this. She probably, when I'm not looking, she's she's doing a lot. It's like this. I wouldn't even be on this this show with y'all right now if it hadn't been for her. So I mean, she does a lot of stuff when I'm not looking. So I, it kind of goes both ways. That's awesome. It's nice. Awesome. I love that. I love that. And definitely, yeah. Jeanette was the one that uh, kind of spearheaded this idea for us because I know oh. um, Jeanette had started talking about and I remember I've known Jeanette what going on five years now and just when you started you were trying to do the podcast and you had a couple episodes out there about what two three years ago maybe 2017 ish time frame and when we met in person for the first time in Raleigh North Carolina it was nice. awesome I've been talking to Jeanette you know just online for maybe a year or two prior to that I just remember you talking about it and then one day during quarantine, that just popped up and said, we should do a podcast, ladies. And we were like, yeah, yes. what we gotta do? <laughs> and, and, that's, and that's what I mean. She mm -hmm. was telling me about these, these type of things and yes. why it was going on. And so I'm like, I wasn't a part of it, but she was just like, I'm like, yeah, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm like, sure, like, like go for it, you know? But now that I'm actually seeing it and being here, it's like, it's amazing, man. I'm, it I'm, it I'm, is. Oh, thank you. you. Know? We're, Thanks, okay. baby. we're still mm -hmm. in shock. And we're in episode 22 of how this has taken off the way it has and how people has received us. And we're so grateful for all the heartbeats out there that have been, you know, supporting us. So we are extremely grateful. Yes, we are. It's, thank been, you, a, David. it's been an awesome thank ride. You. So thank you for that. And I would say that, yeah, I, um, I do a lot of stuff low key and don't really tell nobody like Linda and Shauna, like, Cause they said so they be going back and forth over who got the most listens from between uh, Cleveland. And <laughs> so they be going neck and neck. And I'm like, well, first of all, my people are everywhere, right? I got Philly, South Carolina. I got like Georgia. That's great. All over. Mm -hmm. But I don't be telling people nothing. Oh. <laughs> Just be doing stuff. Like I don't even. I talk to my family almost every week, and I probably they probably didn't know about the mug, the journal. They knew. Oh, wow. Podcast, but yeah. I don't know. I just be doing stuff. That's just. So, sometimes you need to do that, though. Like, you need to kind of separate yourself and get into your own zone and just, just mm -hmm. do it because mm -hmm. when you start telling people about things, it kind of takes away from that energy. You and you know what? Point, yes, yes David. And send that out. Yeah. And you know what? God God reveals everything, and it will be revealed when in, in good timing. So right. it's, sometimes it is. You're right, David. It's kind of good to keep it to yourself yeah. sometimes. And then it just explodes, and you go, Wow, mm -hmm. I did it, you know. 
Yeah, that's a great point, Dave. And we talk about that a little bit in some of our earlier episodes. Yeah. I think episode five from the podcast talks about how to focus, stay in your lane. And we touch mm -hmm. on your zone of genius in some of our other episodes. So definitely. And I think, you know, the trio of Jeanette, Shauna and I coming together, I think just our strengths, you know, we like I'm the social media IG junkie, like, oh, you see something post, boom, comment pops up, boom. Jeanette is like, I'm just going to lay back. I'm behind the scenes. You go do what you need to do. Let me feel like that. And that's right, the yeah. energy I got off of all of you. Like, I could tell the energy automatically. As soon as I came over with you, I could tell the energy y'all have with oh, you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It is, I thank can you. feel it. That is my, um, When my mom says something, yes. you know, that yes. really messed me up. My mom, she, my mm -hmm. mom is deep into birthdays and charts and stuff like that. And she wanted to know everything about Jeanette and Linda and she mm -hmm. connected something somewhere and was like you guys are like this magnificent trio yes. you know I see how this came together and soul yes. sisters soul yeah. sisters soul mm -hmm. sisters exactly yeah. Sabrina we love Miss Nancy let me tell you so oh Nancy. yeah Miss Nancy he's got a lot of energy <laughs> a lot of energy that little you lady. see the half we have my yeah. mom has more than just more than the two us. of us put together mm -hmm. Latina uh, She's yeah. going to be watching on YouTube now talking about, oh, y'all said my name again. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's taking name, pictures of the screen. Name, my name. Yeah, she's great. You. Yeah, she's yeah. taking pictures of the screen, sharing it with yeah. Shauna. Like, I see y'all on YouTube today. Quick, you know? <laughs> well, so, while we're on um, Nancy, I wanted to present something real quick, if you guys don't mind. Sure, of course. So this is us when we were children with our mom. Oh, yes. And uh, she had the softest, fluffy hair, my mother's Puerto Rican hair. And Beautiful. that's us there. And she would always dress us alike. And I have one more here. I love oh, that picture. So yeah, that's my love favorite. It. We look the same. Mm -hmm. We do yes. not look 50 people. Whoop, whoop, that's right. Whoop. It's the sound of the police. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That comes with working for the county. Yeah, you're you're, you're all right. right. You're we right. Welcome it. We corrections welcome corrections it by night and antiquer by day. There we go. We have more than one thing. We could be right. all we want to be. That's right. That's Bella looks a lot like you, Sabrina. When mm -hmm. you were Bella, I can see her in your, your baby. Yes, that, Isabella. Thank you. That is my twin. Mm -hmm. um, both mm -hmm. my daughters don't even look like me at all. <laughs> no. I, mean, I don't know where they came from, but but my, my Pina, I call her Pina. That's her nickname. Um, she looks exactly like yeah. me. It's just amazing. I look at her and I go, oh, man, she just looked like me when I was three. I'm amazed Bye. because I feel like she, my sister was reincarnated in her <laughs> granddaughter. And I, I grew Thank up you. with someone that looked like you, you know, that acts <laughs> like you. Yeah, all over again. Wow, that's great. So, so we talked about like describing yourselves in one word. So what is one thing that you have in common? We talked about Jeanette's organizational skills and some mm -hmm. of the other things. What's one thing, David, would you say you and Jeanette have in common? I would definitely have to say our our, our faith. Your faith, yeah. That mm -hmm. we 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 grew up in a, a family that that really um, always rested and prayed and, and lived on the word of God. So, mm -hmm. um, but as we me and her got older, I think that's what bonded us even closer because you know you mature when you get older and you start putting away things that you used to do. And, and you know maturing and spiritually so i think that's that's awesome. that one thing connected us stronger love that nice beautiful Very nice we are a lot a lot like there and we because we both have our own mind and we're we're very clear on creating like not just accepting what people tell us but figuring out the truth for ourselves right mm -hmm. oh, but, wow. um, also i would say we have in common our sense of humor me and David like to laugh a lot. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Love it. Right. Yeah, we like the, you know, we can be very like sarcastic, funny, dry humor. I love it. I love the dry humor. Um, love it. But we yeah. She, we, she's she's probably the queen of the dry humor. Like she she'll she'll she makes me laugh in that way. Definitely. That's good. Cool. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Shauna, what about you and Sabrina? What is uh, one thing that you all have in common? Uh, we are both creative geniuses mm -hmm. in our own right and in a collaboration format. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think we're very um, in, in do a devil. We're very intuitive. Intuitive. Mm -hmm. Both of us. Mm -hmm. Nice. One more thing. Everything for us has to be fun. 
It has to be it created in a be. fun way. We mm -hmm. don't like boring, mundane life. We love to laugh all day, every day. If possible. Every day. If I could wear a Halloween costume every day, even to work, I would. Like, I just want people to laugh and be happy, you know? Just to have fun. Yeah, I can groups. see that. And Jeanette and I, we always laugh because Shauna's always ready to have a party. We got to <laughs> Fiesta, <laughs> baby, because why not? We got the top hundred downloads. Shauna shows up with this little hat on her head. <laughs> and, and, and then she, during the live, she's reading the comments, and I didn't know what was going on. I was just talking. So Jeanette was like, <laughs> so and that was like stick to the format and we're just having a good time like, oh, yeah. was like, oh, i think you should have a party like every day after 4 p.m <laughs> yeah. why not that's right that's yeah, right confetti and Jeanette is like okay we have to stay on task so oh, we, we definitely love well, i'll it. let y'all have your fun i'll let y'all have your fun <laughs> as soon as you say celebrate party yes Shana's like where's the confetti where's my yes. party hat <laughs> Beautiful. Love it. Yes. We let her take it away with the IG lives and some of the other things. So it's always a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. It's my zone of genius. Yes. My zone of genius. Yes. Yes. So would you all say that anybody can answer this one? Would you all say that you're closer now in your adult life or when, when you were younger? What would you say to that? Definitely now. Now? Yeah. Like we were, you know, he was my big brother when we were little mm -hmm. and it was always like, so, and we joke about this a lot, and I'm surprised he hasn't said it yet, that he'll, he tells people, including my mother, that he raised me. <laughs> 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 so, you know I raised her, right? You know I raised that girl, like, whatever. But, so, like, back then, it was kind of like a, you know, power struggle, because I was like, mm -hmm. you can't tell me what to do. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to mm -hmm. tell you what to do. <laughs> but um, now, like, I would say probably... Dave, when you went to live in Virginia for that little bit of time, probably in high school, when I was about 14, 15? Yeah, when 14. I was 15, that's when we got really close. Because I was like, so it's I'm like, yeah, go, go to Virginia. I don't care. I can't wait. And then like, <laughs> as soon as he got on the train and I got back home, I was like crying. My mom was like, I thought you was excited. Because I was like, moving in his room. <laughs> yeah, was, it's, was, it's like, because yeah. we always, we, me, and, me and her grew up where we didn't always, in our, in our early childhood, we didn't always have a father figure in our life, right? Our, our stepdad came into our life at a, uh, later on, like when I was like probably eight or nine. So I always, we always felt that connection close to it because we just, all we had was us and my, yeah. my mother. So um, so it's, that's a tough question for me. So that I've always felt close to her, like mm. all. Um, now I, I can honestly say, yeah, I, I probably feel even closer because we're we're older now. We're able to express emotions and mm -hmm. and be able to, you know, talk to each other and we reminisce on our past mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So yeah, I would I would say both. I would say both. It's it's a beautiful thing to uh, be uh, have a brother and a sister. You know, boy girl siblings. You know, it, like you say, it's harder when you're younger, but as you get older, like that bond is, you know, inseparable. Yeah. So yeah. Happy for you guys. Yeah, yeah. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shauna, what would you say you thought you and Sabrina? Uh, Sabrina? Uh, for us, I, I'd have to say that we have, we are extremely close our entire lives. Um, entire life. Our souls are like intertwined in so many different mm -hmm. ways. We don't mm -hmm. have to speak to each other or mm -hmm. text each other or call and we know yeah. what's happening with each other. It's like yeah. we feel it. It's in our heart. It's in our spirit, you know. And then I'll pick up the phone, like, oh, yeah, Shauna knows, or she's gonna relate to this, and 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 she goes, hey, I was just gonna, like, for instance, the other day, for example, she went over to my cousin Marquetta's, and they I had was a just bonfire. About to tell this story. They had a bonfire and everything, <laughs> and I'm I'm somewhere doing my she's thing. She's somewhere you know, else. Out the my blue weekend, and out the blue, she texts me, "Hey, do you remember these lyrics? Who who wrote this?" I give her these lyrics, and I knew she would nail it because it was an early childhood song that we loved, which was Debbie Gibson. Debbie Gibson. Debbie Gibson. Mm -hmm. And, and so I um I yeah. text her back. Yeah, I text her back like, "This is it. I play it every day at work." I didn't even know that every she was day, playing this I song play this every song day at work. At work. But I mm -hmm. wanted to hear it around the bonfire because we all choose what songs we want to hear from Alexa, right? Alexa, play this. Alexa, play that. So that we all have a you know fun time. And uh, right, she's telling me I've been, and I'm like, look at that. So That's it's amazing. it's. I would have to say that we are just we're in so all the mm -hmm. time, all the time, all the time. 
I love that. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Very, very Our family good. calls us peanut butter and jelly. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when we travel somewhere and we're not together or we go visit family, they're like, okay, how am I going to eat my peanut butter without my, without jelly, my jelly? You know? Yeah. And, and people in the familia, they're, they're like, even on both sides of our family, they mm -hmm. said that they have never seen a sibling closeness um, the way we have, at least in mm -hmm. our family and this generation, we have the mm -hmm. tightest bond out of anybody. Yes. And don't get me wrong, it's stuff she do I don't like, it's stuff I do she don't like. We mm -hmm. have a lot of opposite things. We, we, mm -hmm. we differ in so many, you know, thought processes. Yes. But, but the real deal, foundation, philosophy and stuff, we steadfast on that. That's and even, funny you say that because um, mm -hmm. most of our family, we're, like, we're a real close-knit family, a big family. But they always look at me and my sister as, why are y'all so close? Like, why are y'all yeah. always? <laughs> they, they actually admire that. It's an admiration for some yeah. of That's cool. Yes. That it's is a good, good thing. It's, good thing to have. It is a good thing for family to view that and see mm -hmm. that. You know, you yeah. could differ, but still be close and love each other, you know, with respect, love, respect. your boundaries. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, we had some knockdown, drag out. Oh argument. yeah, you like, have oh, to. You do. You have to. you have to go through that. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> I know me and David, we had, I ain't gonna go into the details, but we had one. And then we didn't speak. Tell the truth, girl. Tell the truth. Bring it on. Yes. Bring it. A few weeks. And then he, he gonna call me. He called me him out. So, you, so you're not talking to me? And I'm like, <laughs> fine. <laughs> but, and, you know, it's over. You, you know, you work it out, but sometimes you just gotta, you know. Mm -hmm. Just a little space. Just some poquito. Yeah. Just a little yeah. space. You, you go through that because I, I went through that with my sister. We do that, but then like she'll text me like four weeks later, Hey, you want to go to the mall? She know that's our thing. Yeah, we're like, we're yeah. like, here, girl, yeah. Ice breaker. I'll Ice meet breaker. you up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. You know, and it just happens that way. So. And that's something I really try to instill in my kids is like for them to be close and tight. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, this is your, your sibling. Like, if don't, nobody else got your back, your, your, you yeah. have your siblings back. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like, yes. So uh, yeah. we got a, a big family, a lot of kids, a lot of personalities, and it's important for me that they all have each other's back regardless. And, and that's why it's nothing wrong with a little conflict because at oh, the end of the yes. day, she knows that I have her back. You know, I'm, right. I, I should be able to have those tough conversations with her where she's, she, and she's okay to be offended by sometimes or what yes. I say, but I, I, mm -hmm. and that's fine, but she, I still should be given that right to address yeah. her with certain things because that's exactly. what makes each other better. You know, that's still yeah. sharp and still. That's how it's supposed to go. Absolutely. It's that's growing true. pains, growing together, and yeah. you know where the heart is. Mm. So when you have to have those hard conversations with anyone, with your siblings or anybody, you know where that is speaking from. When you know right. that that's coming from love, even if you don't want to accept it right then and there, that's the one thing you can accept is this is coming out of love, even if it hurts my feelings. Right. See, see, how, see how the older siblings are taking over right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel your pain. I feel your pain. <laughs> Take it over. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. You're yes. allowing them to, to oh. take it over, right, Sabrina? <laughs> Yeah, let them think that they're taking over <laughs> the supporting cast. Yeah, right, right. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And speaking of support, so we'll switch gears just a little bit. So we we touched on earlier about entrepreneurship, and Sabrina, you have Swinio Arts, and also Shauna, you're an author, a two-time author in one week. Jeanette, yes. you had your own uh, businesses, and you're exploring some things there. I have my own businesses. How do you feel about your siblings taking non-traditional roles, I guess, or routes in business? And this is a question to David and Sabrina. Like, how, what do you think about the entrepreneurial spirits of your siblings? I think it's inspiring. Like, it, it, it actually makes me want to, because uh, I have, like, stuff that I have written down as far as my notes and stuff like that. But I've never actually put it into motion. So to see her doing what she's doing, to see you ladies doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. it's inspiring. Like it, it is. It just makes me want to actually get out there and start like putting my uh my mouth to the paper. Like really, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> we we nickname your sister David. We got a nickname for your sister. It's called Perfect. Take Action. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. She's always great. like, yeah. she's always saying, you can write all the things, you can buy all the books, you can listen to all the podcasts, but when are you going to take action? Yeah. Like, nice. Dang, nice. That is so nickname. serious. It's serious. Nice. It's serious. Yeah. 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 Um, I've always been one step behind Shauna. One step. Like, she'll do one thing, and I'm like, man, how does she accomplish that? Like, that is just, 
how did you do that? Like, I want to do that. And I just told her at my birthday gathering the other day, you know, we took pictures with the uh, Mitch Max socks book. And I said to her, I'm right behind you, Sean. I'm right behind you. And I'm sure she's heard this a million times in our life. I'm right behind you, Shauna. Even when we ran, we would run around a corner, jump, <laughs> rope, ride our bikes. I'm right behind you, Shauna. I want to put a book together. She's inspired me to do so. She's asked me, what am I going to do with these antiques? What is, what is my plan? And I like that about her. She always has a plan of action. I have that plan and never been able to put it into action. But nowadays, I'm following all you girls. And I'm like, I'm putting everything into action. Now, I'm with you, David. One step behind, but we're right there. That's yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. We're going to explode. It's going to be an explosion one day. The thing yes. about it, though, yes. for the the thing about it is that you may unofficially not know this, or we may verbalize this, and I'm sure that Linda does the same thing with Sherry. Mm -hmm. Is because of your love and your support for us, it's what pushes us and drives us mm -hmm. to do this, to trailblaze the way we are. Mm -hmm. We're yeah, not doing you. this without y'all on our backs, rooting us on, or even our. I'm, we're all deep into our ancestry, our ancestors, mm -hmm. you know, the other mm -hmm. day, I shouldn't be bringing, I'm not, I'm not bringing politics in this, Jeanette, I just got to say something, no, <laughs> I just got to say something about voting, don't get me started, <laughs> You're oh, oh, I'm not David, right. I'm not right. David, right. David, right. David, we gonna run. Uh -oh. That's not David just, I just got to say this example, because it just ties in, these were Shauna's rules in the beginning, Oh, oh let me go back to my notes. No <laughs> politics, no religion. <laughs> but listen, I just got to say something real quick because it ties into my ancestors. It's really about my ancestors. All right. So I was, I this was the first time that I ever did absentee ballot, right? With COVID mm -hmm. season and everything, I didn't want to be in person. I didn't want to do any of those things. I got so messed up about it and I wasn't sure if I had did it. So I checked and it did go through. So everything was good. I was so tore up on the inside, y'all, because what was important to me was not to let my ancestors down. Oh, I was yes. like, this has yeah, got to be it. accepted, you know? Yes. So, but a lot of stuff that we do as trailblazers and in the entrepreneur spirits, I, we think about our families and our siblings and the people before us mm -hmm. that paved the way for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Sure. Nice. Very that nice. That was it. That was it. Okay. <laughs> no, I wasn't getting into the D because I'm not, you're right. That was my rule. I'm laughing at this. I, I admit it. it. I'm looking at you. I admit. <laughs> the fun part was Shauna or Marco Polo. Tell me, it's, but then it go through and I'm just watching the videos roll through and she's like, I don't know. I'm what up. happened? Did it go? And then Linda's like, well, it said that it accepted the ballot. So I think, I think you're good. And I'm over here just shaking my head like, oh my goodness. I would have been freaking out too. <laughs> like my <laughs> ancestors are going to be upset. Right, right. Yes. You were what? good. You were good. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. So in speaking of entrepreneurship earlier, Shauna showed her book, My Mismatched Socks, the story of Sabrina and Shauna. And also we have something special to show you all from the heart of chat that we announced a couple episodes ago and pre-orders are in full effect. And some of you may even have yours by now, but we'll see. But this is our journal. Ignite. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank hey, David, you. we need to buy those right now. Yeah. We can start writing. Yes, yes. yes. You start writing. You start Absolutely. Pages. Um, Jeanette did an amazing job putting this together for us. Uh, we all shifted in on our vision. Just really, really amazing. So, so how yeah. do we purchase? Yes, via all our, our viewers. Yep, the heart of chat. Thank you, Sabrina. The heart of chat.com. It's in our store. Oh, good. It's hardback. Our, hey, this is me. Oh, it's here. a hardback, oh, too. It's oh, a hardback. It's a hardback. Yes. Yes. Hard yes. Yep. Like a map finish. Yes. People throughout as you're writing. Yes, it's inspiring and encouraging words along the way. So we definitely look forward to everyone. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. We appreciate yes, you have to drop a, uh, you can drop a link, can't you, in the, in the uh, bio? Yes. Oh, yeah, we definitely sure will. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure will. So yes, thank you, David. David. So the, it'll be in our show notes. It'll also be on our IG page and attached to the video as well for this episode. Yeah, so I have a few questions. These are more one word answers. This is going to be like a quick minute trivia <laughs> i love trivia yeah. all right all right real quick what is your sibling's favorite color oh. purple purple blue. green blue. <laughs> blue. 
Green. Purple. Okay. Green. Jeanette and Shauna. I mean, Shauna and David. I mean, not Shauna. Jeanette and David. <laughs> David, is your favorite color blue? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you know okay. my favorite? I don't know if he sounds so sure about that. No, I don't know what her favorite color is. Oh, okay. That's the problem. <laughs> Hey, but you know what'd be great, David? Take one good guess. Just one. Mm -mm, no, he got to get this right. That'd be fine, though. Yeah. Are we He's scoring? Gonna nail it. He's going to no. nail scoring. it. No. We scoring. We uh -oh. scoring. We scoring. Jeanette said no. We scoring. <laughs> He's going to nail it. You yeah. got this, David. Right, you I'm got gonna, this. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and guess, which is probably going to be wrong. You got this, David. I'm going to say red. Ooh, no. <laughs> oh. That's all right. That's all right. What is, what is it? Green. Oh, green. It's green. Okay. Okay. Cool. Who I didn't it? know that myself, Jeanette. <laughs> I thought it was yellow. I was gonna say those beautiful pillows in your background. I like there. fall colors. I like the, yeah. I like the not like neutral. a neutral, like a mustard yellow. I like uh -huh. green, but green. Neutral. Mm, okay. I think we touched on this one earlier, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Who was the tattletale between the two of you? <laughs> Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina. I was. That'd be me. Okay, we got all oh, these. Look at these younger siblings. Younger yeah, siblings younger come ones. through. Younger yeah, siblings. Mm. I told everything. Okay. All right. Who is most likely to pick up and move out of the country? Shauna. <laughs> me. <laughs> really, Jeanette? I thought it would have been David because you me said. Too. I don't know what she's talking about. She know I would have been me. Oh, no, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Both of us. Oh my I goodness. Think it, I, think I haven't been home since I was 18 years old. Like literally on my birthday, I was gone. Yeah, but you that was different. That's because you was a boy. Daddy was like, wouldn't let me do nothing. No, I couldn't do nothing either. <laughs> let me tell you, I tried to move to, after I had my daughter at 17, I tried to move to Chicago to go to school because I found a school that would um, put, that had housing where I could bring her with me. My dad wow. was like, nope, absolutely not. Because I, I graduated at 17, and so I was still technically a minor, even though I had a kid, he still mm -hmm. had to sign my financial aid paperwork. Mm -hmm. He was like, nope. Not doing it. Mm -hmm. She wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. <laughs> she not ready. <laughs> no, not ready. We had, to, we had to put our arms around the poor little baby. She just thought uh -huh. she was ready. Oh, oh no. the baby. Adios mio. I mean, I, who was, first of all, who signed up for the military first? You or me? Oh. You signed Ooh. up for the military, Jeanette? Now we're getting, yes, getting into the closets. We're getting into the closets, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. That was me. You gone. Yeah, me. take notes. Yeah. yeah. I'm taking notes. You didn't sign up though. It they wasn't were, a sign up. After I had already signed up, and then I, mm -hmm. I withdrew because they wanted me to give up custody in the bond. Oh and yeah, yeah. No, no. Recruiters. That means you wasn't signed up. You <laughs> signed up. That means you, you going? Ain't no, ain't no big yeah, Once you sign recruited. those papers, it's over. You only got because they was calling me, and then you had moved back from California, right? Yes. Okay, exactly. Now this is what you're saying. I moved back to California, so who? <laughs> You know, let's go back to that question again. Who's that's because I had a kid at 17. It was the okay. day. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I've been out the house since I was 18. So whatever. I don't agree with this one. So I'm going Linda. Okay. Yeah, I love this. this. I love this. Love this. This, this is Fuego, Fuego, baby. Fuego, baby. Fuego, baby. So we're going to move on to the next question. <laughs> this is real life. This is how we are. This is how we are on the daily. Yeah, I'm practicing my today show <laughs> the appearance. Okay. So, Who is the most sensitive? Sabrina. Ah, uh, yes. it depends. Cry, baby. Cry sensitive. Oh, uh, dear. Cries, <laughs> cries easily. Pouts easily. Storms out of the room easily. Feel, feelings get hurt. Hurt feelings, yeah. Hurt feelings. And that's what I mean by sensitive, because she's more offended than I than I would be. Like if, I, if she says something to me, I'm not going to be so emotional about some things. But if I say, I have to be careful about what I used to say to her. So you're a guy. it's going to be. <laughs> you're a guy. <laughs> it's hardcore coming from the male energy, though. Yeah. 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 Shana, Sabrina, who's the most sensitive? Sabrina. I am. Okay, you are. Okay. Yes, I'm a yeah. crier. I'll give him that one. I'll give him that one. All right. Last one. I want us to score. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, I'm so I love good. competition, y'all. I'm a very competitive person. Who is the better dancer? Sabrina. David. <laughs> That's easy. David. That was easy. Oh, easy. Like, I got no rhythm. That was easy. It certainly ain't me. So do you have any more questions, Linda? 
No, I don't have any more questions. Because this but, leads into something I wanted yeah, to do. It certainly ain't me being the if best. If that's thing. okay. To my sister, because, yeah, I'm the rhythmless nation over here. <laughs> All right. All right, David and Sabrina, <laughs> since y'all is the strongest dancer, we're going to have a dance-off competition real quick. Uh, oh, I, man, that. Yes. I got the song pulled up. David, you ready? I wasn't ready. I didn't know about this, dude. Me either. This is yeah, this is not. Yeah, I did not. Pull your sleeves up, David. Pull your sleeves up. Hold up. This is a disclaimer. I'm still 43 years old. <laughs> <laughs> pull your sleeves up. Don't work the same it's all right. Do. You from Philly, though. You familiar yeah. with Salt and Pepper? Push it song. We're going to play that real quick. <laughs> we representing I'm the Salt so and Pepper glad I'm today. Not a dancer. Ooh, and Lord. I feel like Spinderella. <laughs> on the mic. <laughs> no, no pressure, no pressure, David. I'm just messing with you. I was surprising uh, Jeanette and Linda and and David. Um, one of my sisters' zone of excellent zone of genius is dancing. Uh, she got Thank it from you. my mom. And Thank since you. we wore the salt and pepper jackets, I wanted to just so you could show off a little bit of her skills, if that's okay. Oh, cool. You have to watch the video, folks. Yes. And and oh, here's a question with y'all. Spanish background, do you do you know the um salsa merengue bachata? Yeah, yeah. Baby. yeah that's yes. that's where I'm strong at. I'm stronger yeah, okay. in my Latin dancing than I am in in anything else, honestly. All right. Yeah. All right, let's see. You ready, Brina Arena? Yeah, I got the hat. that I just <laughs> wanted to just <laughs> toss so that in there. Corey talks about um the first, like when David came to South Carolina to visit and he took David out to this club for the first like a club down here for his first time down here. And Corey's not uh like he'll go out but he's like standing on the wall. He's not a dance he don't dance nothing. He just just gonna stand there with his drink. He was like man now I grew up down here and I took your brother out to this club. He said he loved Speaking to everybody, he had more fun than anybody in there. Like, he knew everybody. He loved, like, he was, everybody was, like, saying bye to him. Like, they knew him. Awesome. That's charisma. Cool. David got I charisma. Oh, yeah, definitely. Awesome. It's, awesome. it's weird because I grew up a quiet kid. I never used to speak at all. He was oh, wow. I was yeah. quiet, too. Wow. I wouldn't even, yeah, I wouldn't even order my own food or anything. I would cry. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Shana, please, you order. I don't want to talk to those people. I would not talk to anybody. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Wow, y'all, this is this is a really, really great episode. It was such a pleasure having you all, David and Sabrina, on here today. Thank you. And thank you for having me. Of course, and thank you. Yeah. Thank you so thank much you. for joining us. Wow, amazing episode. So Shauna, any Shauna, Jeanette, any last words or Sabrina or Dave, you have anything else you want to add? Just open floor. We just love you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I appreciate you having me on the show. Mm -hmm. This is a wonderful podcast. You guys are doing great things, great things. And I'm sure there'll be many more things to come in the future for all three of you. Thank and you. very nice to meet you, David. Good yeah. luck with your book. Good luck with your book. And um, thank you so much. Nice thank nice you. to meet all you ladies. I really appreciate it. It's, stuff, it's times like this and, and stuff like this that inspire me. Like y'all know how much, how big this is for me. So thank keep you, doing what you're doing. Uh, and don't don't forget me on a uh, couple of next episodes. I'm not in <laughs> yes, me too. Right? We got back. you all. We would love yeah. to have you all back. Oh, for sure, for sure. Jeanette, Shauna, any last words? Any final comments? I just want to say this was a great episode. It was fun and light, and um, it um, I enjoy having the siblings on because it just also shows a different um, picture of who we were growing up and uh, who we are as people today. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I agree. I, I'm I'm grateful that um, my brother agreed to to do this. I knew he would immediately, though. So as I so once we talked about this episode, I thought like, oh, he'll do it. He'll do it for mm -hmm. me. So I appreciate him always being willing to um, just show up for me and everything. Always, baby girl, love you, man. Oh, yes. very sweet, very sweet. sweet. Yes. Yes. I have to give it to him, um, Sabrina. I feel like you've been part of the family for a while anyway. Because thank, <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank yes. you. Love you guys. Love you guys. Sure, for sure. Shana um, yes. speaks highly of all of you. Thank you. Um, thank you. The train video, the book that y'all were reading. Oh, you saw that? Yeah. Oh, I love that train video. Oh, 
Thank you. Uh, Linda, you did an Very amazing good. job. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you, Linda. Yes. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. And thank hello you. to your sister, Linda. Hey, hey Sherry. Yes, hey, thank you all. This is, I love, I love, love, love this and just being able to impact and change the world, you know, one podcast, one, podcast, one video at a time, you know, several of us getting together and it just absolutely love it. We'd love to have you guys back at some point in the future. So it'd be amazing. Thank you. Shauna, do you want to tell everybody where to find us, how they can connect with us and see and watch this episode? Yes, you can connect with us and find us on YouTube, Twitter, and IG. Don't forget to get on our mailing list so that you can get a Meatful Monday in your inbox, which will be a new episode every week. Don't forget to purchase your Ignite Your Fuego book planner. And if you don't have your coffee mug, make sure you get your coffee mug to accompany that. Please come back next week and every week after that because it's going to be Fuego, Fuego baby. baby. <laughs> yeah. Come back. Yes, thank you. Thank Bye, you everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.